obviously good win, uh, good win uh, for Illinois, uh, but they they really forced the action in the second half and uh, took control of the game. Uh, just by evidence of the second half free throw numbers, they were much more aggressive. And we just didn't have the energy boost that we needed in the second half defensively. And, you know, and that hurt us because you know, I thought in the first half we did a nice job in transition getting some easy baskets off our stops. We didn't get as much of that in the second half. And that, you know, it hurts you when you're bogged down against that pressure every single time down the floor. You know, it's difficult. And um, that's why I think the turnover numbers for us in the second half were a little bit worse. We weren't in transition as much. And, uh, you know, disappointing in our free throw shooting and something that you can, you know, you can talk about or practice and whatnot. But it just some, it seems to become something for our team that's a little bit contagious with the guys going up there not being able to knock them in. And when you're on the road, especially if you get there, uh, 16 to 20, 16 to 29, you got to be able to make more than that. So that hurt us as well. We needed to keep a lead by getting free throws. So credit to them. They uh, play extremely hard, uh, and Coach does a great job. Question? Coach, the, the missed free throws, is, is some of that is that tired legs, and what do you do to kind of make sure that you don't have a night like that in the future? Uh, we've had nights like this in, in the past, and it was just, and now we're not a very good free throw shooting team, and there's guys that are better free throw shooters. We got to work on it. Like I said after the game, just some guys. If you're struggling from the line, you got to have some pride on your individual game. You got to get in the gym a little bit more. So we'll get in the gym a little bit more, and we'll keep working on it. Archie, over here. Um, when you called the timeout uh, at the end, when it was two, was it, you didn't know it was going to be two or three. What was what was the design play? And then when it was two, was it? Is that the play you ran? What were you looking for at the end? Well, it was eight seconds on the clock, so on a made field goal. Obviously, we had. a we had a pressure release to get the ball up the floor. Probably were going to foul us because they fouled us uh, to, to foul us to extend the game. So we were ready probably to see if we could spring a cutter off there and see if we could get the ball moving up the floor before they could foul for three. On a miss shot, we didn't have a timeout, so we were on a, on a full court push and on a normal break. And we were going to try and get as fast down the floor as we possibly could to the paint and uh, see if we could get something early. And, uh, you know, we had two looks. You know, Devontae had Rob up the left sideline, probably on the first dribble with an, with an advantage. And then Devontae made a really good look to Juwan, who was open. It's just the pass was really tough to handle. So I think if he'd have caught it, he may have knocked it in. Um, you know, it is what it is. One play doesn't define the game. There's a lot of other things that impacted the result. But uh, we were prepared to have two things. Here in the back. Yeah. Yeah, Archie, uh, how did the 48-hour break turn around you know, impact preparations as well as execution in it? Well, uh, the, I think the one unique thing is when you play Illinois, they're completely different than anyone else you play against. You know, the defense and offense is something that you don't see a lot. Uh, so it's tough on a prep. But they had the night game against Michigan State. Uh, you know, their, their ability to make it work about preparation, probably because the way they play defense maybe gives them a little bit bad. But uh, it's tough. You play three games in six days, two of them are on the road. But definitely, I could look at some of our guys and our toughness on the ball and just some of our energy level defensively. We, were, we weren't as good. So, you know, fatigue plays a role. But, uh, you know, you're on the road, you got to find a way. And, uh, you know, for us, I thought we did a nice job preparing for, you know, what, what we had to do. You know, especially the first half, you know, we executed on both sides pretty well. Second half, not so well. I guess, Archie, uh, I'm back here, sorry. Did, did you feel like the ball pressure in particular kind of got your guards out of sync in the second half? Was that fair? Uh, their defense versus our guards. Or, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Their ball pressure. So. Yeah, I think their pressure was up. You know, we, you know, you try to keep it spaced as much as, as possible. I thought they played their ball screen defense a little bit different than later in the game, which kept us a little bit more stagnant. Um, yeah, but without question, I thought you know our guards weren't as good in the second half at handling it as much as we probably needed to. And uh, you know, we had some had some easy ones we got knocked in as well. Archie, uh, I think Josh only played 12 minutes tonight. What were you seeing from him, maybe particularly in the second half that you gave me? Uh, it wasn't nothing that Josh didn't do. It was a lot. I thought Devontae, especially early, was the one guard on our team that was really getting other guys involved. He was getting off screens. He was getting the ball to the paint. And, uh, you know, my evidence of, you know, early on, he had some really good passes. And I thought he just gave us a better better option at that time, and we kind of wrote it out. But, uh, you know, Josh is fine. He'll be back at it. Did you ask for a review of the clock when there was just a tenth of a second left? Uh, no, I didn't ask for a tenth of a second. The clock was, uh, they said the clock was, you know, ball was kicked or whatever was going on. Anything else for Coach? Good.